In this lab, we're going to compile Apache with SSL, and um, we're going to create our own certificates. So to start, we're going to download the Apache source files and also the SSL source files. So having these two in place, I'm going to decompress them and unarchive them. So we'll run uh, the commands for that uh, for the Apache source files. And now we'll run this command for the um, open SSL libraries. Next, we're going to go ahead and configure uh, with prefix or the installation directory of home, mapix, and then Apache. Then we'll say enable SSL, and finally with SSL equal to home mapix, open S, uh, home mapix, uh, three Ps in here, uh, open SSL. Okay, so now in this step, the Apache um, source files are getting configured. I'm going to uh, resume as soon as this um, configuration is completed. All right, our configuration step is completed. Now we're going to compile the source files. And we do this with the make command. And so this, again, takes uh, a few minutes' time. Okay, so now the compiling step is completed. Now we'll say make install, which is going to move our compiled software and create new directories. Um, the directories are now created under the Apache uh, installation directory. Next, I'm going to create my own SSL certificate. And I'm going to do this uh, under the Apache conf directory. So that way my uh, certificate will be stored inside of the config file. The result of this next uh, command is going to be a set of two files, a private key and a public key. So we'll go ahead and issue OpenSSL command, create a new certificate. Uh, the public certificate is called server.crt, and the private cert certificate is called server.key. To sign the certificate, we are going to um, provide some identity. So uh, we'll go ahead and go with uh, uh, Grand Rapids here. Organization will be Grand Rapids uh, Community College. And organizational unit, uh, we'll say CO246 and www.co246 is the common name. The common name is the actual URL that we're trying to protect with the SSL certificate, or uh, not protect, but perhaps encrypt and identify. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, uh, create an email address here. And now I have these two files, which are my SSL uh, public key and my private key. And so as such, we have to uh, provide the uh, information about where they are stored inside of the config file. This config file, uh, the SSL.com file, um, this was a common field, I didn't have to do that. So uh, here's another place, and then this is also a common field. So now that we saved it, I will look for the listen directive. The listen directive tells me I'm listening to port 443, which is the default port for um, SSL. So in the browser, if I say HTTPS, the 443 port is included. Uh, also, to listen on port 443, I have to be the root user. So I will need to start Apache as root in a moment. Uh, let's uh, also look at the regular count file. Here we are listening on port 80. So again, we have to be root user to start. And uh, the unencrypted traffic is on port 80. 
So we go ahead and um, uh, let's go ahead and also preview this section. When the SSL module is compiled or uh, included in Apache, then we're going to append our config file with another configuration file, the one we just edited. So that's what this if statement does in the config file. Now, uh, let's uh, quickly rerun HTTPD-L, uh, and that tells us that the SSL module is compiled into our Apache system. So now we are ready to start Apache. I can start Apache by issuing a, uh, an absolute path uh, command. So we'll say home mapix apache bin apache ctl and start ssl. And so now uh, it tells me, oh, it tells me that I cannot bind to port 443 and um, it wasn't unable to start. And that's because I'm logged in as Napix. So let's go ahead and uh, log in as root and we'll go ahead and issue the same command only as root. Okay, and so now if I navigate in my browser to local host all by itself, that's our HTTPS system, now HTTP, and now I just started the HTTPS connection, but the browser tells me that there's a problem. Specifically, it has two problems. The certificate is issued or signed, the public certificate is signed by myself, so not by a certificate authority. And then the name um, on the certificate does not match with my URL. So what I need to do here as root is I'm going to edit the host file and I'll create um, uh, 127.0.0.1 www.co246.com I'm going to create a DNS resolution on my local system so that when I go back to www.co246.com okay, it will work and this time we only have one problem and so we have to pay uh, VeriSign or another company like that to take care of this specific issue. So far we can say I understand the risks Add, get certificate, view it. These are the values that I typed in during certificate creation process with the OpenSSL command. I can now confirm security exception, and I now have a website that's running uh, security um, SSL encryption, and um, that is the goal of our lab for today. So in this lab, we saw how to uh, compile Apache from source and how to enable SSL. Thank you.